Hi everyone, it's Stu here from 3B and today I'm going to give you my calibration settings for the recent update from the uh, for the KS series of TVs and the MU series of TVs from Samsung. We've just recently, just last week, had the new update file, the 1230.5 um, from the previous 1220.6 and what I have seen is some real differences um, and some real improvements with this update. I would say this is probably one of the most significant updates where I've seen some quite dramatic changes in terms of how the backlight is managed um, the overall change in the sort of the general brightness of the screen seems to me an awful lot brighter and as a result of that I've had to tone down a lot of things um, so for me this has probably been one of the updates where I've had to really quite change things and notch them down um, simply because uh, things have improved greatly and as ever these are just my settings so um, you know they're suited towards my environment how I've got things set up and of course what you have is very different um, so you know use these as a general guide and you know there was things I'm sure that you would want to change but this is what I find that works best for me so this is what I be uh, I've had uh, standard def HD um, 4k and I've tried streaming on Netflix uh, Amazon Prime now TV which was from Sky in the UK um, I've also been playing video games on the Xbox One X and the PlayStation Pro um, I've also had some uh, the PC uh, push through it on HDMI 2 um, and these settings tend to work pretty well all round also what I what should happen when you get HDR content is that the backlight should automatically adjust to 20 if it doesn't it all depends on on the content I found but sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't if it doesn't then move then move the um, oops get the right one then move the picture set the backlight to 20 it should automatically do that sometimes it doesn't I found that sometimes it doesn't do that when it's when the TV finds HDR content um, but if it doesn't then move that to 20 I've also found these settings to be pretty good on game as well so you know again if it's a HDR game which a lot of games are now and, it's, and the TV isn't picking that up in terms of adjusting the backlight to 20, then you would need to adjust it to 20. Um, but overall, I found these settings to work best for me. Again, this is just a personal preference. Um, I, I like to believe I get things pretty accurate. You know, I use all the sort of hints and tips that I give within my channel. So, um, you know, but it, again, a lot of the times it's, it's it's subjective it's whatever you believe works best for you but these are a good starting point so we have the backlight at 15 um, previously I'd have that just at 20 brightness I've notched down to 41 contrast obviously at 100 um, I've also increased the sharpness because I've noticed that some of the picture seems sometimes a little bit softer than it has been um, so I've just noted notched the sharpness up just a tiny bit I've also reduced the color um, I noticed that the, the images were got very saturated, a lot on greens. Um, they're very strong, um, probably too vivid for me. So I notched those down. Digital clean view off. Um, we don't like those things. Auto motion plus, we just have that on, but we turn everything off. I know that sounds ridiculous, but just the fact of having auto motion plus on and then having everything turned off to zero, just it just adds enough for it to kick in just to stop a little bit of flicker that's still there smart led i still put to high i still like to have the tv to react um uh really quickly and to be really bright in areas where it needs to be um otherwise it just looks a bit subdued uh hdmi uhd color to all channels that hdmi black was set to normal we can't change that dynamic contrast too same for smart led you know i i like the fact that the dynamic contrasts adds a real difference um 
with you know the differences between light and dark and so on um, are quite significant and it adds a bit of punch what I what I have noticed with the dynamic contrast it does tend to crush crush the the shadows a little bit crush the definition in, in the blacks just a tiny bit it's improved an awful lot um, since when I first started using uh, dynamic contrast but I still like to have it on some people like to have it sort of off or low uh, again, this is just down to personal preference. And another one that's down to personal preference is I have it at warm two, which some a lot of people find is probably a bit too yellow. Warm two is closest to the the, the standard that, that the industry uses. Um, but you can, of course, you know, if you find that too yellow, you can use warm one, um, or there's um, you know other other settings there as well from um, you know sort of standard and cool. Standard tends to look a bit false. Cool looks blue, warm is less yellow. Uh, warm too is sort of closer to the standard that um, the industry uses as a as a benchmark for color. Um, so there we have it. There's those are the settings. I leave everything else as auto or as the standard settings on the TV now. I don't bother too much fiddling with um, <clears throat> the gamma or any of the color space modes. I put those at auto. TV seems to manage those really well now. Um, so yeah, just very quickly. Backlight at 15, brightness at 41, contrast 100, sharpness at 15, color 40, um, and then we have uh, auto motion at uh, custom, just with everything off, just stop a bit of flicker. Smart mode, a uh, smart LED at high, and dynamic contrast at high, and color tone at warm too. Um, and I have these settings again for game, they work really well for game. Um, and just that note once more on the H and the HDR, um, the TV should pick it up and put it at 20. If it doesn't, if you don't see a change in the screen, if it's not looking that bit brighter when there's, you know, or managing HDR very well, um, just check the backlight because sometimes it, the TV doesn't pick it up. Um, but it should and it should automatically put it at 20 and adjust a few other things as well. So those are my settings. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I use these for SD, HD, 4K streaming, 4K movies on, on Blu-ray, and also for gaming, of course. Now I tend not to do this, just a quick note. Um, I know a lot of people move the picture mode to game. Sorry get this right uh, special viewing mode to game I tend not to do that because um, even though it speeds up that pan the panel a little bit um, I have noticed that uh, it does hit the graphics a little bit it tends to make them I don't know a little bit grainy it's hard to say I can never put my finger on it but I tend not to use game mode because it, it tends to take some of the definition away from the game. Um, but again, you know, that's personal preference. Um, I don't watch sports on TV, so, uh, but the sports mode on, on, <laughs> on the KS and MU TVs have always been awful. It's uh, just really green. Um, and then HDR plus mode, just, just don't touch that. It'll just ruin the image for everything that you'll watch. Uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts. I hope this helps. Um, once again, you know, I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Don't forget to click the bell. Don't forget to subscribe. If you've not subscribed, please do. And um, I'll catch you in another video. Thanks very much.